Frontier Communications provides internet to people all over the country. But if you check this out, the only place there's a real problem, it would seem, is right here in the Tampa Bay area, as you can see right there where that big red dot is. Yeah, it's been five days since Frontier Communications announced a special plan to fix their ongoing service and customer service problems. The company says so far so good, but some customers tell ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner they disagree. For several hours at the potting shed in Tampa, the register, the phones, none of it worked. So we couldn't ring up a credit card. We couldn't take an order. We couldn't do anything. Felicia Severson says she's sure the Frontier Communications internet outage today cost her business. I said, oh, I've been trying to call you. You know your phones are down? Well, yeah. <laughs> we couldn't call you, though. <laughs> Frontier says this outage was because of a faulty gateway router preventing much of South Tampa from getting internet. It was unrelated, says Frontier, to the ongoing issues of bad service over the past several weeks that prompted them to create an action plan to fix the problems. I'm losing patience with you guys. I'm trying to be kind, but I can't. Charlene Torres hasn't seen a fix. It's frustrating. Her home internet and phone service hasn't worked since a brief power outage in her Riverview neighborhood. When is this going to come back up. Oh, it should be coming back up in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes turns into an hour. An hour turns into three hours. <laughs> three hours just goes to 24. That was over two weeks ago. And that new phone number in Frontier's action plan hasn't helped either. It was just constantly like, can I speak to a supervisor? Sure. Click. But what bothers Torres most is that the lack of service has put her sick father at risk. He relies on that phone for all his medical needs, whether it's the doctor calling 911. Today, Frontier told Torres her problems wouldn't be fixed until June. She's now switching services. In Hillsborough County, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News. Well, thanks, Adam. And here at the digital dashboard, many of those Frontier customers are taking their complaints to social media, sounding off for many of us here at ABC Action News. Most of these tweets at Ask Frontier, you see right here, most of them are people complaining about their service right now and then Frontier trying to respond. And again, here at ABC Action News on our Facebook page, so many of you are commenting right now. Some of these comments I can't even read on the air. But we would love to know what you think and what your experience is like. Continue the comments on our page. Jameson?